Oh guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be making a little nameless tip here. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be making a little limerick to fury with brawl stars in the background. Okay, ready, set, go. Now today's fury is going to be about the signal tower. Now, as you see, the signal tower, the end of little nightmares too. You see, is very, very, very human-like with a bunch of flesh out surrounding it. Now I think that flesh. Is from the other people who are disappearing all of a sudden in the world of Little Nightmares 2. And I think it's all stored in a continuous mass. And sometimes it likes to reveal itself. And sometimes it likes to hide itself. Revealing into an actual normal tower. Oh yeah, my bear's out. Okay, I should stop talking about it all. Okay, basically... Now, why is the mask there? Why is the mask there? Because he gets the souls, but where does he put the bodies? He makes it into a continuous and continuous signal tower. But there's also a theory I have for the signal tower. Why are there time-dimensional doors? Probably it's the, it's the Finn Man, a.k.a. Mono, trying to escape... It's probably the Finman trying to create a delusion of different time to try to make, um, you know, to try to make like a, a, div a, a gateway portal so that he can get out of the signal tower after Mo after Mono frees the Finman. That doesn't happen. I think these two entities at once. And I think Mono and the Finman want to collide into one entity. You know. Just a fury, but and you also there are two people at once. That's why the Finn Man Mono moves so slowly. But but I also want to know why does he need all those uh, people to feed? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he's he's doing that because he's giving the souls to the doctor to create even more people than before. You know, why does he want more people to do that? Why I think Thin Man slash Mono wants to keep on doing that is, I think, that why I think he wa he wants this to keep on going. Is that when he has so so many people sitting for so long on the TV screen, he can finally have control and take over the Little Nightmares world. What about, I mean, yeah, but what about the actual Little Nightmares boat? Are the inhabitants of that actually controlled? My theory is actually, no, I don't think they're controlled. I think they're part of a different class of human types, as you see in one of the Little Nightmares comics. So I don't think peop the people in the mall are related to the people in the Pale City. Or, what if all that fleshy mass isn't from the people who disappear? Maybe those are just taken souls. But what about their bodies? Um, you know what, their body, they're probably just taken and also stored up the thin mass. Also, as you see, in the comics, you see big fleshy people like the chef. Like, sh like the chef in Little Nightmares. Uh, roam around the city in one of the comics. Now, I think they're also part of this huge mass of skin. And I think why he wants this is he doesn't want so much so many uh people like that to be so extremely obese and he doesn't really want them in, in his city. What I think is is it. And uh wait. 
Okay, guys, so that's it for our video. Okay. Now, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Ah. Collect the keys in chapter four. Tell me, had you heard that before?